the biased sample fallacy. Uh, this is drawing a conclusion about a population based on a sample that is biased or chosen in order to make it appear the population on average is different than it actually is. So an example would be if I said to you, I spoke with a sample size of 500 people and they all said that taxation is good, that government is necessary, laws are wonderful, we need the government to, to protect us and take our money and tell us what to do, because if the government didn't did, do that, you know, just everything would fall apart. And you go, wow, you talked to 500 people and they all, 100% of them, thought that that was true? I say, yeah. Well, I spoke to the uh, the senators and the congressmen. <laughs> I spoke to those folks. And what are there, 535 of them or whatever? I only got 500, but that is a very biased sample. If I had spoken to a million people around the country, all of whom were producers, in other words, they produced more value than they, they brought in. In other words, like they're you know plumbers, electricians, private school teachers, entrepreneurs, employees of restaurants and that kind of thing, like people who actually go out and do stuff productive. If we had asked that group of people, well, it would have been a very different answer. We wouldn't have had 100% saying that, you know, seventh grade social studies class was actually true. <clears throat> so that is an example of the biased sample fallacy. Be very careful of this. When you hear statistics look into them see you know there, there's got to be a reason somebody did the study what was their what was their goal what was their bias why were they doing this study really look into it and make sure you're not being bamboozled